Hello, Holly. Charlotte, what's happening? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Oh, no, it's a disaster, but we still love you. Folks, a very good mid-morning, 11.50, 11.50. You find me here lost in the middle of my adventure today, looking for sort of like an old dike dam thing, a big dam, a uh, big flat plateau of stones that have been built back in the 1700s, 1800s uh, to alter the, the course of the flow of the river. And I just can't find it, man. I just can't find it. I did see it on a, uh, a BKR's video in the, in the quality area. I had his car parked, but I just can't seem to find the correct location for it, folks. So we're lost. We are lost. So I'm going to head back around and see if I can find a place to park and maybe just you know, try my luck. So stay with me, folks. We'll see what we can find. Right, folks, update. I'm still lost. It is now five past 12 and I'm still lost. However, I just phoned BKR there and he just told me where to park and where to go. So the adventure is on folks. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. So the adventure starts here, guys. Uh, in the quarity, in the, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it in the quarity or in the quarity? We'll call it in the quarity. Uh, so we head up this way towards the castle. We'll keep it on my right. And then we follow the perimeter of the gardens. And then it shouldn't be too far away after that. So I've got a nice little picturesque area down there, just beside the bridge. That's called Prosen Bridge, that one. Right, so I keep an eye out for some bulls, I suppose. It's a one man, one man mission today. Let's just uh, hope we can find it. Here in the distance, folks, you can see early monument. There it is. There's always a fire in there. Oh no, folks, the rain's coming on. Right, there's a few fences to negotiate. If I'm to initiate the old dog leg manoeuvre over the gates and some barbed wire fence and stuff, but we shan't let that stop us. It's quite high up here. So we're walking along a line of beech trees here, which is uh, Parting instructions. Got all these old, uh, old in inscriptions in the trees. Loads of them. Went a long day go back. Yeah. So these are the grounds, I believe, of Inquiry, Inquiry, the area of Inns Castle grounds. Got a farm over there. Now, is that the castle over there? That's well, actually pretty hazardous. Oh, find some nice fungi here. Hang on, there's little fungi on the dead tree. Look at that. There's loads of it. Wow. Right, folks, now where I should be, I think, is down by the river. Just down here, I think, is where I should be. And we're actually way up here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm way off course. I'm going to have to go back down and along that path uh, just down there. I'm way, I'm way up too high. I should be down on the riverbed. 
walking along the river because that's where the stones are. So yeah, I've no take oh god's sake man, honestly. <sighs> Disaster already. Now one of my favourite sounds is the sound of uh, beech nuts crunching under your feet. Yeah, my satisfying crunch. I think we'll just edit that bit out. Right folks, here we go, we've parked the car and we're on our way. The adventure starts here. So we head down towards the river and then just kind of walk along until we should come across a strange route there. I don't know, wow. I'm all exposed, all these exposed routes. Lovely part of the world, this man. Yeah, I'm right on the path and just straight on down. Easy. Well, that's where I was on top of the uh, the embankment there and I got round to the uh, the bit there I decided to turn around and right, folks here we go this is the uh, is the frozen water Right, well, I get this feeling, folks, that I am on the wrong side. I think I should be over there. Oh, for heaven's sake, man, what a disaster. Anyway, we'll walk further along and see if we can... But this is the sort of area that we are looking for. Uh, right, we'll keep on going and see what we can come up with. I heard some buzzards. All right, let's carry on. Fisherman's hut over there. Mm -hmm. Looks, this is looks like a dead end. Well, what are these things? Oh, what are they? There's loads of them. Oh, is that wild garlic? Snowdrops. I don't know what they are. Oh, they're weird. All righty, folks. Yeah, we're officially lost. But I've come across these. Uh, these strange flower things, these things here. I, I thought it was maybe garlic, because garlic sometimes grows. We've got snowdrops here. Now the river has obviously been up higher. It's all very soft ground here and there's all sorts of um, signs of trees being around against the side, but there's a bench over there. God, I should be on that side, man, damn it. Oh no, how on earth did I miss this? Right, okay, we might have to go back again and retrace the steps. Um, yeah, because this just looks like it's going to be uh, no fun that way. I can't really see a clear way through that. What over there looks? Right, okay, back we go. Very disappointed. Because I've just checked on the uh, Google Maps and I, you know what, I, I don't seem to be too far away from where I think they might be. Um, the rain's come on really heavy, sort of that heavy mist rain now. And uh, this looks like a bit of a natural water course running along here. So we'll, uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Oh, all right, I got a bit excitable there. I saw these stones, but I think this is just a, a fishing beat. Yeah, I still think I'm heading in the wrong direction. Up there, I think. We'll head up there and then see what happens. Right, we've hacked our way through. This is very un, uh, unwalkable ground. It's really clumpy. And then I was walking over the field, which is old hoof marks. Um, and now I've got a feeling that all is not lost yet, folks, because that bit up there where the cow, so I'm sure it's a BKR, and uh, Channel DJ came down. So I think if I'd stayed up on that bit, I might have come here. Eventually, I've just, I think I've just taken a very strange route along here. 
So we're just going to keep on going. I thought it was going to be impassable there, but I'm sure they came down there. All oh, right. Adventure's back on again. Yeah, look at all these stones here, man. Wow, loads of them. Crikey. Oh, the snowdrops. Right, folks, multi trepidationi. This is it. I recognise that tree stump coming up from the ground there. Yeah, this is it. I can see it. Wow. But am I on the wrong side of the river? Well, it's amazing how uh, quiet the river's suddenly got right here. Yeah. Okay, excellent. <laughs> This is where it starts, right here. This is like his backbone. And off it goes. All the way. Up here. Right, here it is then, folks. Stretches about what? 200, 300 yards? And it's, this was man-made. This has all been man-made back in the, the late 1700s, 18, early 1800s. And I think it was to do with uh, diverting the course off the river to make a nice little area there for fishing or just to make sure that the, the water would go down there so they could, I'm sure there's a mill down there so the water will flow down there, make it like a, a laid, a mill laid sort of thing. But what, what an achievement, man. People had to pick up stones and come across and put them down, put some stuff, little stones in between. What a, what a feat. What a feat, man. Um, if you had to do it in this day and age, goodness knows how long it would take. It would like building the pyramids. It's incredible. It really is. It still stretches along that way. But what a... A find man, excellent. And it's definitely got something to do with the course of the river. You can see there's been old sort of river, rivers, river beds. I've sort of uh, been altered, and over the years, I suppose nature and its wonderful force have sort of had its say in the matter as well. So yeah, it still goes on. Wow, all the way down here, crikey! Taking somebody months to build this by just using their hand. Months. Wheelbarrows taking the uh, the stones from the field and from the from the river there. We'll go down and look at the river. It looks like there might be a waterfall, bro. Just a very small one, but a waterfall nonetheless. But still it goes all the way down here. So it kind of and here's been taken over by nature here. This is the end of it. Just right here. This is the end of it here. Uh, there's a, a fisherman's hut over there. So yeah, I think it's a, a fishing beat. Uh, come power source for the for the mills. But yeah, look at the height of it as well. So you know, you think of a flat river, and then they've narrowed it and made it go higher. The river would sort of come. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. But I'm just just surmising. But yeah, what a feat of human engineering. Great stuff. The county of Ang Angus came together to make this. They said the Inverquarity estate, the castle is uh, somewhere over there in the vicinity. Right, we're going to go down and uh, look at the river.
Oh, right, any folks, well, there it is then. I think this has got something to do with uh, flood prevention. The fields over there probably stopped the, the fields flooding because back in the 1800s, I think they had some pretty horrific uh, floods and things. So this probably would have been their only way of managing to cope with it. And also maybe something to do with the, the mill forcing the water down the fishing beat. It could have multi-purposes. But what a fantastic find this is. I must say, man. Yeah. Well, on the speedometer, we haven't done the speedometer for a while, man. Um, because it was such a such an unusual thing, and it took a while to find it and locate it, a bit of research was required. So yeah, it scores high on all those all those uh, things. So here we go in the middle of nowhere with the the rain coming down in a misty sort of fog. A misty, a misty fog, yeah, of that rain. This is going to get uh, an eight. An eight out of ten, folks, on the speedometer. We thank you very much. And a special thanks to BKR for uh, directing me here. Uh, go check out his channel, BKR. He does all these uh, exploring videos. Uh, very similar to what, to what we do. Uh, so yeah, go and check out his channel, right folks? And also Solo Bro, check out Solo Bro's channel as well. And if you could give my channel a like, folks, a nice big juicy thumbs up for the Jackster. Thank you very much indeed. And I leave you then, folks, with this adventure beside this old stump of a tree. I wonder how many people have walked past this and touched it. Hey, it's amazing. It's been here for years and hundreds of years. Excellent. Right, I'll see you in the next adventure, folks. See, on the way back, came up this hill and it was so boggy, my shoe got stuck and it made this massive suction noise. And then, oh, my socks wet, went over the top. Damn it. Oh, it's just stayed in the bottom end. Oh, well. Wow. Look at this view, though. Wow. Can you see Ellie Monument right in the centre of the picture? It's a bit stormy now. And there's the castle. There it is. Okay. I think if I'd stayed on the, the top bit, what I did was I came along here and then turned around about there and went all the way back and then down and along with that river bed. I think I should have just carried on the way I was going and I would have just come to there and then down. Yeah, oh well. Gave myself an extra half hour. But, oh man. Right, back to the car. Come on, it's time to rain. Pretty heavy now. Whew. Could do a nice warm brew. Nice Baines coffee. Yeah, we'll head back and stop and see the girls. Here we're getting on. Whew. Snap, doink, crack, Whoosh. wow, goodness me, what a break, goodness. Maps are things to behold, but how come everywhere I want to go seems to be